Help and medical information from the Billy Meyer contacts compiled by David Chance revised the 25th of October 2023. Crystal Healing Contact Report 8 What about metal alloys and so forth, as well as crystals and precious stones that are supposed to catch or absorb certain radiations? That has its rightness. Special things of this kind have a certain effect. But they achieve only partially successes and are not 100% effective. Fundamentally, however, they are valuable and can save a lot of hardship and suffering, whereby the fact must be seen nonetheless that related successes are as a rule only won through delusion and imagination. There are, however, certain methods to let crystals and precious stones, etc., become effective medicines. Can you tell me some? So then listen. Twelve things are named, what purposes they serve, and how they must be made. These are exclusively things that are able to influence rheumatism and many other diseases, etc. Contact Report 22 but now I would like to pick up one more thing that we once talked about before saying goodbye, namely about crystals and precious stones, which according to your interpretations can become very dangerous for humans, if they are in their possession or are even worn. All crystals, semi-crystals, Gemstones and semi-precious stones as well as various minerals of earthly origin are recipients and transmitters of human emotional impulses and thought energies in larger masses or in high carat values. Depending on their type, they store less or more of these energies, which are discharged onto their owners in a concentrated manner again and influence them to a great extent. But now the earthly sphere is, due to negative human thought vibrations which surround the earth like a vibrating mantle, in an energy state of highest negative forces. These negative forces were created, and are further developed every second, by the tremendous negative thought energies of the earthly human life forms, which through their heresies and many negativities put the whole world under the spell of spoiling and dangerous radiations. However, since crystals of all kinds as well as precious stones and various minerals etc. are very strong absorbers and recipients of such energies, it could not fail that they have been excessively charged in negative form by these negative human thought energies and have become dangerous bringers of distress and misery. Depending on their species and characteristics, many of them became mediators of disease, infirmity and death, if they were large enough or powerful enough to be possessed by humans. Especially crystals and gemstones of all kinds are very sensitive recipients and collectors of negative as well as positive human thought energies and negative and positive emotions. They are therefore already severely affected at their actual growth sites before they are found by humans. This is due to the very strong negative force that surrounds the earth. But if man now wants to have crystals and precious stones in his possession, to possess them as values, to use them as jewelry or as health bringer, then he must first free them from the dangerous radiation that occurs in vibrational form, for otherwise they are able to bring death and destruction upon him. In addition, it is absolutely necessary that these crystals and gems, etc., are large enough and of sufficient carat value, and are subjected to a new neutralization at least every five years, because through the enormous negative thought energies of earthly humankind, they recharge themselves after this time with the negative forces mentioned within only a few hours. The neutralization can be carried out by a pyramid, by running water, or by a simple apparatus, which I will describe after my explanations. If man does not subject his possessions of the kind mentioned to the necessary neutralization, if this is already known to him, then he should not be surprised if he is strongly persecuted by illnesses, misfortunes, misery, and need, by infirmity, by misfortune, and even by death and destruction. Crystals and precious stones, etc., 
must be exposed to a strong negative bombardment for several millennia before they become such receivers as those of the Earth. Basically, however, crystals, minerals, and gemstones of any kind, etc., are recipients and emitters of good positive forms of energy when they grow in balanced worlds. This an embodiment of the universal law of nature. If, however, they are carried directly on themselves by thought-capable life forms, then they adapt very quickly to this life form and receive and send off the energies inherent in this life form. If, however, a negative form of energy thousands of years old fires at them, as is the case on Earth, then they species in the negative. How about pearls? They have the same properties as gemstones, crystals, minerals, etc. For neutralization or simple purification, it is not necessarily necessary to have a special apparatus that absorbs and neutralizes the above-mentioned energies. This means that vibrations can also be deducted from the crystals or gemstones, etc. by other methods and converted into neutral forces. The neutral forces are then absorbed again by the crystals and gemstones, etc., and form the balanced force for a certain duration. This is the case with neutralization. In case of purification, only from time to time the degenerated forces of negative or positive form that have penetrated are absorbed, but they are simply released. A recharging of the crystals or gemstones, etc., is not necessary in this case because they are able to generate their compensating forces themselves in their natural law suitability. If I have mentioned that such crystals and gemstones, etc., only have to be purified every seven years, then this is only necessary if the person wearing them has degenerated very negatively, for example, torturers who feel joy in the torture of other humans. Crystals and precious stones, etc., which are in the possession of normally positive or negative human beings, which are not in any way disfiguring, must never be subjected to purification, provided, of course, that the stones, etc., are in a balanced and purified as well as originally neutral state and origin, because on your earth only these possess the natural and great forces which are valuable and usable for man. Contact Report 39 The most dangerous storehouses of wrong, humanly produced thought-swinging wave powers, however, are precious metals, precious stones and crystals, which often accumulate these energies in deadly doses.